lecture notes. Okay, so here's the, the DAC lecture notes from last time. And I need, I, I need to bring this up to remind you what the DAC is expecting. So, so here's the 16 bits that the DAC are expecting. It's, it has this AB buff, uh, GA for the gain, amplifier gain, and the shutdown, and then 12 data bits, eight of which are important to us. So there's four here, and then four in the second eight bits, and then the last. Uh, four bits are don't care. And, and again, here's here's the register. So so you can see it's here's one byte, here's the other byte, here's four bits of data, here's four bits of data, four don't care is at the end, and some setup bits at the beginning. <clears throat> the reason I'm I'm bringing this up and showing it to you is because if you don't recall this and you don't remember this, the code, if you try to look at the code and understand the code, it's impossible. So this is the code that transmits to the DAC. And there's just there's just one little bit at the end. Okay, so so we pass it a channel and a value. So the first thing this code does, there's there's two bytes. So the two bytes that we're going to transmit are out one and out two. Um, the first thing we do though is we set the chips like one. Like we said we were going to do. Then we say if uh, channel is set to 1, set output equal to 80, otherwise output is equal to 0. Okay, so what this is doing is setting a single bit in the output 1 register. In the output 1 register, the, the, high, the most significant bit is either going to be 1 or 0. So, can everybody see that? Where you follow is that the most significant bit is the one that's getting set. Right? So the... the uh, <clears throat> if we go back to the, uh, the data sheet here, the most significant bit on the first uh, register selects uh, whether it's DAC A or DAC B. So 0 is DAC A and a 1 is DAC B. So, um, so, this, so for channel 1, we set that most significant bit to 1, and if it's channel 0, we set it to 0. Um, we said it started out as 8, 0 which is one zero 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 right and this is our a b right and we, so we selected uh, channel b because it's one and then the next thing says or so uh, i'll put one or equal 70. so what or equal means um or equal means uh if you say o or equals one what that means is o equals O or with one, right? Where this is just some variable O, right? So it's like, it's like saying O plus equals one is the same as saying O equals O plus one, right? Where this, this, uh, this is the number one, and this is the pipe character, the, the, lock, the bitwise or. <clears throat> so what we're saying is take the value about and or it with 70, so this was, this is 80 up here, and we're going to work with 70, and 70 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And when we OR these together, we, we, we get, if there's a 1 in either the top or bottom, we get a 1 on the, oops, we get a 1 on the output. So now out 1 is equal to this. Okay? So that's what the, uh, the OR70 is equal to. So OUT2 is equal to 0. 0, x, 0, 0. And then it says OUTPUT1 is equal to OUTPUT1 OR with the value shifted over 4 times. All of these bits are going to shift 4 times and we're going to shift in 4 zeros. And then we're going to have this left over. So, C, so the value shifted four times is 1100. One, zero, zero. 